Um, I think it's just going back to coaching. I mean, we have a lot of great coaches, and uh, Coach Madison and Coach Carr, who obviously played played here. So, I mean, it's it's a lot of great coaching. It's it's top quality. Coach Carr worked with you individually. I mean, is that something that – or is he worked with all the defensive? Um, he mostly works with the interior line, and uh, Coach Maddie more so handles the, the, the outside guys. But, I mean, they, they go back and forth, so we'll work with both. Coach Carr told you about his playing career? Yeah, I mean, we, we've watched some film on him. I mean, he was a, he was a bad dude in this time. Did show you him carry the ball? <laughs> no, I haven't seen him carry the ball yet. When, when you see Jabril making an impact on offense, do you kind of remind them a little bit, you know, that you can play fullback and try and get in there? Yeah, I mean, I told them. Uh, I, I did get a few snaps last year, but, uh, you know, I'm just trying to focus on playing defense right now and seeing how I can help the team. What about uh, as a former fullback? What do you, what do you see when Sione gets carries? What do you do? Oh, I get really excited. I mean, they they love giving it to the fullback. I mean, Carriage and, and Sione, I think they have more touchdowns than our running backs right now. So, I mean, it's really cool to see uh, some power football and hand it to the fullback. Do you ever cross paths with Sione on any plays? Because yeah, I mean, me and Sione. Heads once in a while. <laughs> Uh, I mean, a few times they run. They run a few, uh, few draw plays uh, that that will knock heads or or Proji or something like that. What's he like? What's he like? Uh, I mean, he hits hard and he, he keeps fighting. I mean, he's he's definitely one of the people that that stays in the game the entire time and just keeps working. Tries to outwork you. You're facing a team this week. It's got the high tempo offense that it's known for. How do you prepare for that personally and as a unit? Um, I mean, personally, it's just it's just getting the line and getting ready. I mean, uh, in practice, uh, we're doing a great job right now, I believe, of, of getting the fastest tempo possible. I mean, our scout team's really been working on getting us uh, – Getting us ready for that. I mean, they're they're going really fast on in scout team. So I mean, I think it's something that you just got to prepare for as well as you can. And then once the game comes, it's it's going to be fast, and you gotta you gotta suck it up. What was that like the first time you saw that kind of offense? Overwhelming, or did you prepare for it real quickly? Um, I think the I think the first time I saw it, I mean, it, it was kind of a shocker. I mean, for for me, I mean, I didn't play, but I did see them uh, freshman year that they were going really fast. I mean, I think they had more snaps in Oregon during that uh, year that they were doing really well. So, yeah. With the injury concerns for Ryan Glasgow, and you're down two nose tackles now, are you ready for that kind of extra playing time you might get with that? Um, I mean, we're, we're always rotating, so I, I don't think that's really going to be a, a huge issue for us. Who else is at that spot? Um, I mean, we have, we, we're playing both positions, so I mean, we'll have Willie, we'll have Wormley, we'll have anyone in there. They can play in the middle. Chris had said, Chris Wormley said earlier, maybe three weeks ago, that one thing about having a lot of those guys rotating out is it keeps you guys fresh. Are you seeing that, benefits of that, you know, having the rotation, just staying psychologically and physically fresh? Yeah, point. yeah, definitely. I feel like that's a, that's a huge advantage, especially when you're going against an offensive line that has to stay in there. I mean, if you can't rotate your semis, you can't rotate your guards, but you can rotate your D-line. And when you can keep your quality up with rotation, I mean, that's just getting your freshest guys in. And it's really an advantage for, for a defense to have such quality players who can run in at any time. Talk about Coach Carr, watching him, he's playing highlights. Yeah, I, think he's, I think you call him a bad dude. Do you think of some of the guys in your defensive line like that, maybe aggressive, physical? That. Yeah, I mean, I'm, we try and see ourselves as that. I mean, there's certainly times where we're like that. Um, I just think uh, we just kind of focus on what we can get better and not really focus on what we've done in the past. And, it seemed like missed tackles were a little bit of a problem mm -hmm. last week. Where do you think that stemmed from or emerged from? Um, I think it's just not, not wrapping up, not running our feet. I mean, that's something that we uh, we really honed in on after Utah. Uh, we started doing a lot of tackling drills, stuff like that, just to make sure that we were we were able to, to be better in that area. Um, definitely something we have to improve on, though, and something that we'll keep working on throughout the week. Did Brian practice today? I'm um, not able to comment on that. In terms of the, back to the Indiana and their tempo thing, are there things you guys have found differently in different – your defense is adaptable to different styles and stuff like that? Yeah, I mean, I think I think our, our defense is able to adapt to things like that. Um, we play a, a lot of defenses, and, I mean, breaking it down into uh, knowing what calls you're going to have for that specific game is something that we try and do a good job of and make sure that we know exactly what we got to do and what play just so we can go faster – and that's something that we just try and keep prepping throughout the week. How do they simulate it? Do they have two quarterbacks going in? Like in, in two um, it's kind of just moving the ball from sideline to sideline, kind of getting you running and then having the ball snapped really quick. Uh, I mean, John's doing a really good job of simulating the quarterback. I know he played at 
Houston, I think they did a little bit of tempo. So, I mean, he's he's someone that's really good at giving us a look. And the offense line's obviously doing a good job, too. He's had to do a lot of different things this year, huh? Yeah, he's been great for us.